Hey everyone, this is Prince from TC Programmer. I welcome back to another exciting video about Node.js, Express.js and MongoDB CDs. And in this video, we are going to talk about URL parameters, optional URL parameters. So let's first take a quick look at what that is. As of now, you can see that we have a route which is a contact route and it just sends simple string data that's a contact as page. So if I hit back to my command prompt, if I start my server, then in my browser, you can see that if I go to slash contact, I get this simple contact as page. Now, obviously, I can design a, a beautiful contact as page and I can render that right here. That's completely okay. But this is a static route. We already fixed that the URL is the URL parameter is going to be contact and the page that we're going to render is the contact as page. But let's go to the Instagram page. And here you can see if I go to Instagram.com, obviously, I get the normal login. But if I go to slash Desi Programmer, which is my Instagram account, you can see that you get my personal account but that's not it if i go to some other account let's say programmer humor then i go to this another account that's programmer humor i don't know whose it is but basically now this route can't be static i mean instagram doesn't design all these pages for every person that comes so this is a dynamic route there is a simple skeleton and every time somebody enters a username here instagram gives data according to that and if i enter some random username if i hit enter then obviously instagram will say that hey this page ain't available so this is what we call as a url parameter and according to that different pages are rendered and we may need to do that in our application too in our website too so that's what i'm going to talk about in this video but before we move forward let's take a quick look at the difference between url parameters and get parameter so here a url parameter will simply look like this so let's say i have a website that's http so URL parameter will look something like let's say slash profile and I want to show a profile of every user that's registered there. So you can see you can go to slash profile and then you can enter your name let's say Prince and this will show the profile of Prince. You can enter slash Zim and this will show the profile of Zim. Now this is a simple URL parameter. You simply enter a single data and pages are rendered according to that. Get parameter or get query string they are different. So a get parameter is something like you go to profile of Zim and now you want to get posts. But instead of just simply saying post, you put additional query string parameter like uh, you want the limit of post to be 50 and let's say there's some other filtration. So a query parameter is used when either you want to submit a form in get request or you want to query but there is further filtration pagination so here as I can, as you can see we are saying we want post but we want the limit to be 50 only. So here you can extract this limit part 2 and then you can enter only 50 post. So this is what a get request parameter is something that we are going to talk about in the next video. But in this video we are going to talk about this URL parameter and how to help that I am using Express.js and Node.js. Now these two will be of two types. First one will be a definite parameter like that has to be there. The second one will be an optional parameter. So first of all to do that all that we have to do is that we have to say app dot get let's say i want to show profile of users so i'm saying slash profile so this is fixed but here the username can be anything to just make this one variable all that we have to do is to add a colon before the username and now this username can be anything now obviously we need the request we need the response and now to grab this username which is coming from our parameter it's actually simple we'll just say this const yeah, this const username is equal to we have to go to request we have to get the params and then here we have to write the same thing that's available there and now this username can be used to send data so i will basically do console.log i will log this username and not just that we will even send the data back so i'm saying rest.send and let's say message from this particular user which is here in the username now let's save this so if I go to localhost clone double slash slash profile, I'm um, calling username, then we should basically get this data. So let's just go here. Let's go to profile. Let's say Prince. If we hit enter, we get message from Prince. If we say profile slash Zim, we get message from Zim. If we say uh, profile for, for some random data too, we get data too. And also in our console, as you can see, we get Prince, Zim and data too. 
So this is what a fixed parameter look like and this is how you can extract the data from your code and now here you can render page based on that user. So you can get the users likes, dislikes and whatever that is. Then you can render data based on that in your template or skeleton. But if I just go to localhost colon double slash slash profile hit enter then you get that we can't get this profile. So basically right now this particular parameter isn't optional. So it has to be there every time or else it will cause an error. And sometimes you may need to make this optional. So let's say you go to colon username slash posts. Now I don't want this post to be available anytime or let's say I'm just saying our data. So basically here I am saying go to profile of the particular user and uh, get the data that's required. And let's here append something more. So I'm saying data request and the data request is for request dot params dot data. Let's save this. Let's go back and let's say profile slash prints slash photos. So if you hit enter, I'm saying that the message from prints and the data request is of photos. Let's make this a little better. Hit save. Let's go back and refresh. I can do something like I want to get all my videos. So you can see the message is from prints and the data request is videos. Let's say I want to grab all my posts. You can see that the message is from prints and the data request is post. This is something that Facebook does. If you go to Facebook and if you see something like they see programmer official Facebook will render my simple page but let's say I want to know about this particular page so I can do slash about and here Facebook says okay render the about page of this particular page and that's amazing I can do something like slash posts and Facebook will render all the posts so you can see so that's something we are doing right here but interesting thing is that this post right now is optional so if I remove this if I hit enter even then you get the page although the data request is undefined so this is what you can do you can put something uh, mandatory and you can put something optional so the mandatory part has always to be present if it's not there you can show an error page like hey I need some data and the optional part can be optional so if the user is requesting some data render the data to if the user isn't requesting any data just render a simple profile and this is what we have a simple colon and the variable name for a mandatory parameter and a simple colon and a variable name along with a question mark for any optional URL parameter. So that's it from my side in this video about Express.js parameters and optional parameter. In the next video, we are going to explore more about get request and query strings.